I would like to share with you information about the application of tubing and hypotosis in the treatment of developmental hip dysplasia. Now I will explain how to put on the orthosis correctly. I would like to point out that the orthosis is easy to use. First of all, the size of the orthosis should be selected according to the age of the child. Then the closures of the orthosis are opened and spread out on the table. First, the body part, which is the shoulder harness of the orthosis, shall be hooked on. There is a hook and loop section on the strap in front of the body section. This Velcro section with a caterpillar mark makes it easier to put on the orthosis. This section should be positioned on the front of the baby's chest. The orthosis is secured by loosely fastening the hook and loop closure located on the front of the chest section. There are colored beaded cords between the body and leg sections of the orthosis. By lengthening and shortening of these beaded cords, it is possible to adjust the baby's hip joints to the appropriate hip flexion angles. The orthosis has tight supports with an adjustable spreader bar section. This part of orthosis allows the baby's legs to be abducted to the sides. The baby's legs are then placed in the tight supports. It may be useful to lightly lean the baby's feet on your belly at this step. The hip flexion of the baby's legs shall be adjusted to be more than 90 degrees. The beaded cords of the orthosis shall attach to the baby's chest through the closure clips on the right and the left of the caterpillar strap on the front of the body. To do this, the market bead is pushed into the relevant notch and both clips shall be attached until the click sound is heard. Then the beaded cords on the back shall be adjusted by moving the beads as the same way. There is a red adjustment element on the spreader bar. It is possible to move the spreader bar and adjust the hip width by loosening this red band. Therefore, the baby's legs shall be adjusted to 30 to 45 degrees angle of abduction. The abduction of the baby's legs should be approximately as wide as the shoulders. The orthosis should be checked for proper fitting with the baby. The tubing and hip flexion and abduction orthosis is used for the treatment of hip dysplasia in infants. The main principle of the tubing and hip orthosis is to provide the baby with a natural body position similar to that in the womb. The orthosis provides an appropriate anatomical position required for the development of the baby's hips. So the baby's hip joints will be developed successfully and naturally in an anatomical position. The tubing and hip orthosis is preferred for reasons such as providing successful treatment, being light and thin, being hygienic, being effective, and being easy to use. I advise the clinicians to work together closely with families concerning the use of tubing and hip orthosis in treating developmental hip dysplasia. Thank you for your attention. I wish you good health.